Welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophia Pilot into the universe of Chinese. Let's dive in. Fu Tu is today's bright name translation in Chinese. Can you hear Fu Tu? It is Ford. So just like Toyota and Honda, the brand name of these vehicles are named after the founder's family name, right? But unlike Honda and Toyota, these Japanese vehicles, they they are rooted, and may I say, in Chinese culture. So they already have their Chinese character existing in the brand name. That's the Chinese slash Japanese version of, so there's no exactly translation for that part. Like it's a direct mapping into Chinese. But Fu Te Ford doesn't have that East Asian influence and the root. So it's an imported concept. It's a family name. So somebody have to pick uh, how to how to translate them. So this is a phonetic translation, just like most Western brands in China. It's pick the uh, uh, as close rendering of the sound as possible, and of course pick good meaning from Chinese. Fu te, okay. I would say fu, bliss or blessed. It's kind of a good meaning, right? And tu means it's a special. So I guess in a sense, it, we can view Ford. It is a blessed brand, right? It came into the world at the right time. It's a blessed in that way um, to become, a, to grow into a, one of the major brands. And it is special <laughs> because it, it does have its, its own special history and it's a special mark on the history of vehicle development, right? So bliss is made of Chinese, this divine decoder thing. I uh, view that as um, it's a Chinese oracle. The two horizontal lines means space. It's between heaven and earth. So two lines, horizontal line, and visually we place the earth bigger than heaven somehow, probably because we live on earth. So it's visually closer to us, therefore appear bigger to us. That's always Chinese rendering. Heaven sitting on top is a little smaller. So that's heaven, earth, and then the three sort of vertical lines, uh, the, the, the middle one is the most straight, past, present, future. future. So that's time scale as well. So one is signifier of space, one is signifier of time. So divine decoder's job is tell when and where things are going to happen. So that's <laughs> that's what it is about. So it's a two, it's actually 4D coordinates, right? Because space is 3D and then plus time is a 4D coordinate to tell when and where things are going to happen. Okay, the right is where does, okay, so somebody forecasts things are going to happen, right? And the right is the three elements Chinese consider are fortuitous. Again, top frame, one horizontal line means heaven. And heaven in Chinese philosophy simply means environment, that humans are, or nature, right? Humans are living off. And the bottom is the farm field that we use this kind of a oval slash boxy shape of oval shape, quartered, and that means farm field, because um, <clears throat> Chinese would have a distribution of the land among household, and therefore it's cut, kind of a quarter is representing of this cutting of the land. Uh, so these are farm field. And in the middle, this oval shape is actually population. So it's between heaven and farm field, earth, there is this population living in this oval, like a harmony almost. So Chinese have this belief of one is blessed. That means the environment, the, the, the resources you're living off, the heaven and earth, and the population dynamics are all going toward, like, uh, are going toward your goal. Um, like everything is formed or aligned for the ruler to accomplish something, right? So that's a Chinese concept of a bliss. It's like a forecasted, have the three elements aligned. Okay, two. It's made of the cow symbol, which is a coordinate, and then with the feature of the cow, which is the horns. So that's cow, generic. And then the right side <clears throat> is the ru, when planting uh, trees or farm uh, farm crops, right? So these trident shape sitting on top of this ground, that means um, uh, 
yeah, crops that you're planting. And then the three finger hand symbol was this one inch down um, pointer. That means you have to plant the, you have to do your planting according to the rules, strict rules, kind of a measurement rule. So in ancient Chinese agrarian society, I guess, make a full year's work. Like you have to be able to follow exact tried and true practices. So such measured, because this is a, a signifies a quantification. So you have to follow the exact amount of volume or timing, whatever quantification dimension that is to do your farming. So this measured farming then make it special, right? You don't do it randomly. You intentionally do it in a certain way. And then paired with ox symbol, that means it's a special type of ox that is to breed. Um, according to some classical literature, a quarter, like 25% of the ox population, male ox population are used as breeder. So that makes them special because they are minority. Um, <clears throat> that's Chinese split special. So overall, it doesn't really make sense to Chinese semantically. And it's not like you cannot tell from this two farm, uh, I mean, blissful <laughs> and special, um, the meaning, it doesn't, it's good meaning, but it doesn't point to a vehicle, right? So it's not relevant but as a phonetic translation. And I would say as a foreign brand from the West doesn't have a, you know, cultural root relatable to Chinese, just by the phonetic translation, they make good picks of the character. All right. Thank you for your time. See you next.